Hi everybody and welcome back to McNulty's Book Corral. Today we're going to do the Ultimate Northwoods Western Book Haul. That's right, we're going to do it all today and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's just take a look at uh, some of the books that I've picked up here in the North Country. In addition to some of the books I brought with me. You know, I'm always bringing books back and forth when I'm traveling and so forth. So, again, today we're at the cabin up north, which is uh, my summer residence. And uh, I've been busy fishing and doing all the things that I do. Um, we've had a lot of visitors uh, and so forth. But uh, the book collecting and reading never stops. I always have something with me. So, with that said, let's take a look at a few of the books that I found. So, at a flea market in St. Germain, I found Call of the North by Stuart Edward White. Now this is a very low grade copy. I'll have a scan of it popping up. Um, and it's a Triangle Books reprint. The reason this is an interesting addition for me is because of the cover artwork. Um, it is, let's see if you can see that. I'll, the scan will be better. The uh, <clears throat> the cover artwork is Northwoods style, which, you know, that's the nature of the book as well. And I like it. Uh, really a low grade copy. This is not even a reading copy. The reason I picked this up, it cost me, you know, a couple bucks at a flea market. They just threw it on a table. Um, I picked it up because finding this dust jacket in reasonable shape is difficult to do. Uh, there are not many out there. I have this book in other editions. So with that said, I picked it up because I like the I like the dust jacket. And what I'll do is I'll do a modest restoration on the dust jacket in the book itself, and then I'll mylar the dust jacket. The book is in really poor shape. It has those, you know, insect holes and everything in it here. Uh, barely a reading copy. But still, interesting book to have. Um, and, it, you know, it's just one of those Stuart Edward White oddities that I bought it because I like the cover. So that's my first one. And then here's a Roy Rogers, and guess what this is? Here's a Roy Rogers Whitman. That's correct. A nice Roy Rogers Whitman. This is in beautiful shape. Look at this. Um, I'll have a nice scan of this cover as well for you so you can take a look at that. Um, I love the end papers on the Whitmans. You know, they were always good. So, you know, I got a good Whitman. It's Roy Rogers and the Trail of the Zeros. You can't go wrong with Roy. You've heard me say that before. All right, then I went to Ages Past Antique Shop, which you saw in a video last summer. I only bought four books. Their inventory was really low. They didn't have as many uh, books on the shelf as they did last year. But I picked up Guns on the High Mesa by Arthur Henry Gooden. And this is a Rip Snorton Western. It says right on the back, Rip Snorton. So I love that. Uh, this is a Grosset and Dunlap. I'm assuming it's a reprint of some type. Maybe it's a first. I don't know. Um, but uh, really good shape. Obviously, this was in a collection because it's been mylard, and it's in really good shape. So uh, those are always good to pick up. Then I picked up Murder in the Outlands by James B. Hendricks. Again, I'll scan these, and they're going to be popping up over here. Instead of the lake that you're seeing there, you're going to see the books, you know. Um, great cover on this as well. So, now this book is a Double D Western. Double D here. I'll, I'll see if I can scan that and give you a close-up of the Double D logo. The Double D Westerns were a brand put out by Doubleday. And it was quite successful. They were all hardcover. And a couple of them... I'm always looking for them because there's certain titles that are quite valuable. Um, there's one that I've been looking for for years uh, called Gunsmoke in the Hills. Uh, I want that with the dust jacket on it, and it's by Ray Palmer Tracy or something like that. I forget his name. Um, I don't have that book. Uh, this is one of the ones that I've been looking for, and you know, you just never know when you're going to walk into it. And, and James B. Hendricks. Murder in the Outland. This is a Canadian Western adventure. Um, so great double D Westerns. If you ever see these and they're in good shape like this, buy them. Good to have. Here's a real interesting book. Ernest Haycox. Ernest Haycox was one of the die-hard, steadfast, um, working man's Western writers uh, back in the day. And this is Canyon Passage. And what you see on the cover here 
is Dana Andrews, and uh, the actress was Susan Hayward, I believe. I'm neither a fan, I'm, I'm not a fan of uh, uh, Dana Andrews nor Susan Hayward, uh, and uh, I'm a fan of Ernest Haycox. However, the film, and this was obviously released to coincide with the film release in the 40s, this is a great movie. Uh, rarely shown, you don't hear much about it. I believe there's a Blu-ray on it. So I'm probably going to pick up the, the Blu-ray and then maybe I'll come back and do a retro book versus movie episode on Ernest Haycox, Canyon Passage. Uh, really good book uh, and really great film. Um, so again, I'm going to come back to this one, different episode later. And so finally, then we have Eugene Cunningham. Eugene Cunningham was born in 1896 and died in 1957. And like Ernest Haycox, he was one of the tried and true uh, stalwart Western writers uh, from the Golden Age. Nice picture of him on the back, looking very cowboyish. Uh, really great. Uh, I've not read this yet. It's called Quick Triggers. Great cover artwork. Again, this was obviously in a collection and taken care of because the dust jacket is nearly perfect on on these books. And you know they were they've been in a collection obviously for years. I understand that they had uh, the bookstore had acquired a. Uh, these books from an estate sale sometime back and I whittled away at it for quite a while too and I got four more so they're getting low there's not many left um, again more than enough of a reason for you to visit antique shops and flea markets and so forth uh, thrift shops to see if you can find some of these old ones now this one obviously was on a, a bookshelf and the sunlight faded the spine so it wasn't touched for years, uh, and yet the cover is in really good shape, and you know, and then again you get the back. So, real treasures that I found up here in the North Country at an antique shop and a flea market. You can't go wrong with that type of thing. Now, I told you this is the ultimate Northwoods Western book haul. You were paying attention. I know you were. I trust all of you implicitly. So, with that said... What else do I have? What did I bring or what was sent to me while I've been here? Well, first of all, let's start with WWJ and J.A. Johnstone, A Lamb to the Slaughter. Remember in a previous episode, I discussed the Tin Horn Western. This is the second volume of that series from WWJ, J.A. Johnstone. Big fan. I'm not going to go, you know, I'm, I'm repeating myself. I don't want to go into it too much again. I read these books every month. This is my staple. This is my diet. My main diet are the brand, okay, WWJ, J.A., Johnstone. So, Violent Storm is another one I have. So, I'm reading this. I'm reading the A Lamb to the, to the Slaughter, and I just finished reading The Violent Storm. Really good book. This is a Will Tanner, U.S. Deputy Marshal Western, different series from the same group. Good book to recommend there, and then I have some that I have yet to read. They were just forwarded to me. We have, and I love the cover on this, um, Taylor Callahan, Circuit Writer, same brand, all right, great, I'll have covers of these scanned for you, nice cover there, um, I'm looking forward to reading this, and then we have a Buck Trammell Western, a uh, The Fires of Blackstone, here's another one that I have up here, so I'm, I'm surrounded by cowboys, lawmen, and outlaws, <laughs> so I wouldn't have it any other way. And uh, fun stuff. This is, you know, this is my diet. My diet of Westerns is the monthly WWJs. Uh, and then we have, I grabbed uh, a couple that I uh, had on, uh, I hate acronyms, but, you know, booktubers use acronyms like TBR, to be read. Okay, so I have a couple of TBRs that I grabbed that I brought up. Uh, the Devil's Crossing. This is a Preacher and Jamie McAllister Western. I've talked about that series before. Another great series from them and then i picked up these smoke jensen the classic smoke jensen himself when the shooting starts here's another one another beautiful cover these books are so beautifully done by the way uh by pinnacle um they really do make you happy to see them when you you know you get them especially for you western fans you know good covers you know they've recently changed their in the past year their format it's a slightly di bigger size it's not quite the pocket book size but you know um really nice stuff to have and they're fun to read the 
again, the issue here is they're put together well, but they're also well written. Um, that's why I'm a big fan of that brand. And then, finally, I brought up a couple of books. So I actually read Bloody Joe at home. Uh, this is Peter Brandvold's latest Bloody Joe, a Bloody Joe Mannion, book one. Um, Bloody Joe, this is great. Uh, you knew I was going to say that, all right? So I'm not telling you anything you haven't heard before. And then I picked up um, two and three. So we have Revenge at Burial Rock. This is Bloody Joe, book two. And then I have a stack of westerns here. It's really exciting. Uh, then I have book three, Saints and Sinners. And I believe there's going to be at least two more. I don't have them yet, but when I get them, that's going to be awesome for Tom, okay? So, uh, I haven't read these other two yet. I'm in the middle of stuff. So, look at this. I'm going to kind of pull that into the camera range there in a minute. And then finally, the last one, as of today, I have Max O'Hara, Kill Red. That name sounds familiar. I have to, hmm. Anyway, uh, you may want to go back and look at my Max O'Hara episodes and hit like and subscribe and all that silly stuff that you're supposed to do. And I'm supposed to tell you to do it, which I don't because I think it's silly to remind you to do something that should be logical. If you like the video series, then subscribe to the channel. I shouldn't have to tell you. And we shouldn't have these little flying icons coming up telling you to do it either. Um, I'm the booktuber nobody likes, by the way, I, amongst other booktubers because I, I do my own thing, you know, and I, re I respect the booktube community i really do um because you know they're they're putting a lot of great information out there about books that you can read and collect so i respect that i just get tired of the everybody copies each other you know and it's like they anyway uh max o'hara let's get back to that old cowboy who is he where'd he come from oh man <laughs> sounds like somebody i had to have a beer with one day you know what I'm saying? You know, you're out there on the dusty trail and you're thinking, man, I'm reading that old Max O'Hara. I'm kind of thirsty. Is there a saloon nearby? Uh, you know, I know, bet there is. You never know who you're going to meet when you walk into a saloon. So anyways, Max O'Hara, Kill Red. Now, let's take a look. How high does this come? On the, You can't see the bottom ones, I know, but I've got a good selection of books. And let's see if I can lift this up and not drop it, all right? This is gonna be very exciting for those of you that like to watch booktubers do something incredibly lame. I'm lifting up the stack of Westerns. This is, once again, ladies and gentlemen, the ultimate Northwoods Western book haul. Rock on, and I'll see you along the dusty trail.